It's 90.3 FM KEXP, streaming online at kexp.org. My name is Morgan. So happy to be here at Rain Shadow Recording on site at Fort Warden at Thing Fest. It is the very, very first Thing Fest, and we are so excited to be joined again by Orville Peck, who was just live in our studios back at home this past May. And we were very excited that they are joining us for a special acoustic set for Thing Fest. Go ahead and take it away. Thank you. Back on the run, back to the blue. Winning is fun, losing is too. Roses are falling, roses from falling for you. Inside the hate, I found a way to sit and wait. But now I can't hear voice, your face without a trace. I'll wait for you. Roses are. acoustic set for us. Howdy, we're excited to be here. So happy to have you. <laughs> <laughs> we're just doing a quick little tune. Okay, here we go. You good? It's gotten awful by Gonna rise again Keeping track of everything we Another whole man told me you can't stay. Don't leave, don't cry. Just another boy caught in the right. Don't say goodbye. Head full of nothing, and I'm wondering why it's all. It's all right Yeah, it's all right I'm coming down I got your life laid on my floor Yeah, I'm something I've seen it all before To me you can't wait Don't leave, don't cry 
Just another boy caught in the ride Don't say goodbye Head full of nothing and I'm wondering why it's all right It's all right Caught in the ride Don't say goodbye Head full of nothing And I'm wondering why it's all right yeah, It's all right yeah, It's all right It's all right Orville Peck live here on KXP from Thing Festival at Rain Shadow recording. So fun to hear an acoustic version of that song. One of our favorite songs of the year so far and from one of our favorite albums of the year so far, Pony, that came out on Sub Pop Records this past March. And uh, you're all wrapping up your U.S. tour this, this weekend right here at Thing Festival before going back up to Canada and then heading over to Europe for the fall. Uh-huh, yeah, we're doing... Um uh, thing today, and then we go to Vancouver and Victoria, and then off to Europe again, and then we're back in the States right after that. I mean, I think we're on tour. Huh? Opposite? Oh, see, I don't even know. All I know is my next day off is December 6th. Wow. That's like all I can think about. Yeah. How, how has the U.S. tour been? It's been great. Yeah, yeah. we, uh, I mean, really lovely crowds. We did two sold-out shows at the Troubadour in L.A., which was kind of like a, like a personal... Uh, you know, dream come true, and then uh, great shows up the West Coast. We were just with Iron and Wine in Calexico for a few days, and yeah, happy to be here back in back in Washington. Yeah, playing 3:40 p.m. today here at Thing Fest. And have you have you played Europe before? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. We played. Uh, we just did a little jaunt through Scandinavia uh, a couple weeks ago, and then uh, before that, we did uh, I think Berlin, Paris, and. London a couple times. Yeah, I'm just yeah. curious because obviously country music is a very North American thing rooted here in the West. How is the audience over in Europe? How, People, how do they receive country music especially? Yeah, they love it. It's funny, Scandinavia actually has this very uh, niche country scene actually and it's quite a booming country scene so they love it over there. Uh, I, I think people in, in the mainland like it too, I think. I mean, we get as just as many kind of like 
people dressing up as cowboys and coming out and yeah, it's great. Yeah, and you have this really amazing aesthetic. Fashion is obviously something that's really important in your live shows. Have you, has your live show kind of progressed over this last year? Have you been incorporating new things as your tour goes on? Yeah, we've kind of screwed ourselves a little bit. Because <laughs> I, think, I think we set the bar quite high at the beginning. So now it's like we joke, like we have to have a new outfit every show. I mean, it's not even a joke. We kind of have to now. So, yeah, it's a, a real pain in the, in the butt. Yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's, I think it, it, it looks nice. <laughs> it looks amazing. I'm sure it adds a lot to the show as well for you and for the audience. Uh, if you had an unlimited budget and if you had an unlimited staff, what would be your dream show as far as outfits and, and stage accoutrement? Horses, drag queens, uh, maybe a mechanical bull in yes. the mosh pit. Yes, <laughs> in the mosh pit, in the audience. Hay bales everywhere. Yeah. You know, corn. <laughs> Yeah, we talk about, uh, we want me to like, you know, descend from the ceiling or maybe like descend into the stage. Mm -hmm. That would be yeah. incredible. Kiss, kiss <laughs> level, you know what I mean? Yes, we need you to get ultra famous so that you have that budget so that that show can definitely happen. Um, so yesterday, uh, an interview was released that you did with one of your heroes, Patrick Haggerty, uh, Lavender Country, who's from Seattle, from this area. Mm -hmm. um, for those who don't know, he uh, is openly gay, was openly gay back back in the mid 70s and released an, a country album with his true lyrics and obviously it was not uh, well received at the time but it's made a resurgence. How was interviewing him and can you talk about what, what did you discuss with him? Uh I, I mean, it was amazing. I, I mean, the first time I ever spoke to Patrick was actually on the phone because I, I found I tracked down his email after a long time looking for it, and uh, I emailed him, and he was like, he's like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't like to email or do the phone, you know, just call me, just call me. Mm -hmm. So the first time I actually ever spoke to Patrick was for like two hours on the phone where he was just like cussing for like two straight hours, and like he swears like. Crazy, <laughs> and he just like he'll be like going off and being like, I don't know, is this? Are you there? I can't hear you. Like he's just the funniest guy ever, and he's the sweetest, most incredibly just gentle and funny person. And I think he has no real, uh, you know, like he doesn't really know the impact that I think he's had in, in such a like cult movement of of his, you know, the impact of his of his work, uh, which makes him even just more kind of wonderful. And I mean, it's crazy. I, 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 he's been an idol of mine for a long time. So interviewing him was lovely, but it just was the same as usual where I, I talked to him on the phone and it's just me laughing a lot because he's just like swearing and talking about you know, the heyday of, of uh, you know, gay culture and kind of on the West Coast in the 70s. Yeah. Have you been able to talk to any other country stars that have kind of been heroes for you along this last year? Or, or if you haven't, who would you love to meet and talk to? Uh, well, I've been talking to one, but I don't know if I can, I can't reveal who it is yet. Oh. But it's someone pretty special. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. Uh, I would love to talk to Dolly, but I feel like I'm. I feel like Dolly's like the next level of icon. So, I don't know if I ever want to actually meet her. Maybe because I don't know what I would even say. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'd love to. I'd love to meet Willie Nelson. Mm -hmm. I think Willie's a pretty amazing guy. I think you'd probably have a really great conversation with Willie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Orville Peck, thank you so much for being here. We'd love to hear a couple more songs from you. Thanks for having us. It's Or Orville Peck live on KXP from Thing Festival. <clears throat> the sun goes down another dreamless night You're right by my side You wake me up You say it's time to rise in the dead of night, strange canyon road, strange look in your eyes. You shut them as we fly, as we fly. Star hollow down Carson City light. Baby, let's get high, spend Johnny's cash, it's another ride. We laugh until we cry, you say go fast, to say 
hold on tight in the dead of night dead of night see you Walk on by as they walk on by as they walk on. It's enough to make a young man. Six summers down another dreamless night. By my side, scratch on the moon like a familiar smile. Stained on my mind, some other town, someone else's life. Dead in the night, in the night. See. We're gonna do a cover now, and it's uh, by one of my favorite country artists of all time. And I think she doesn't get enough credit for being an amazing musician. Uh, I'm talking about the incredible Faith Hill. <laughs> <clears throat> you ready? Yeah. I can feel the magic floating in the air Being with you gets me that way I watch the sunlight dance across your face And I, I've never been this swept away All my thoughts just seem to settle on the breeze As I'm lying wrapped up in your arms The whole world just fades away The only thing I hear Is the beating of your heart I can feel you breathe, it's washing over me Suddenly I'm melting into you There's nothing left to prove Baby, all we need is just to be Caught up in the touch, the slow and steady rush Baby, isn't that the way that love's supposed to be? Feel you breathe, just breathe. 
In a way I feel my heart is waking up As all the walls come tumbling down Closer than I've ever felt before And I know you know There's no need for words right now Cause I can feel you breathe it's washing over me Suddenly I'm melting into you There's nothing left to prove Baby, all we need is just to be Caught up in the touch Slow and steady rush Baby, isn't that the way The love is supposed to be? Yeah, I can feel you Orville Peck live on KEXP from ThingFest doing a great version of Faith Hill's Breathe. That song was massive in the 90s. So cool to hear that again. That was a great version. <laughs> I mean, it never, it never went away from me. It never went away. I grew, uh, I grew up in the Midwest, so that was always like Perfect. in the jukeboxes. That was definitely of the time for me, so it was really cool to hear. Do you play a lot of covers when you do shows? I mean, we do. I mean, I, yeah. I love to, I've always loved to play covers, uh, but I also, you know, I like to... I like to play country songs that you know people know, or maybe some that people don't know, and I think it's important. I think country has, you know, a very long, rich, diverse history, and I think it's it's good to kind of open people up to that as well. For sure, yeah, it ties all of that together in your live shows. Thank you so much for spending time with us today, playing in just about an hour or so at McCurdy Pavilion here at Thing Fest at 3.40 p.m., so we'll let you go. Thank you so much for spending your afternoon with us. Thank really you so much for having it. us. And keep it tuned right here to the station where the music matters, 90.3 FM KEXP Seattle. Join KEXP and start. Yay! <laughs> Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.